Scenario. You're the new person on that committee. You know which one I'm talking about. You don't know anybody and have no clue what the pecking order is, but you know that first impressions really matter with this group. The next decision could make or break you. What chair do you sit in? Hello, my friends. For today's Q&A, we've got a question that might give some of you some heart palpitations. Here it is. Hi, Lauren. I'm a new member on a board of directors for a not-for-profit. Most of the other directors have been either on this board or part of the community for some time. I'm new to both this position and the region. I've heard these people are very insular and have been warned they can be difficult to get along with. What can I do to make a good impression in my first few meetings with this group? Any insight is welcome. Alan. It's always tough being the new kid on the block, isn't it, Alan? Especially when that block, or in your case, board of directors, has a reputation for being insular and cliquish. When dealing with this, you're going to want to spend the first couple of meetings worrying less about showing how smart and capable you are and focusing much more strongly on connecting with the group and demonstrating that you understand and respect them, that you understand where they're coming from, that you respect their values and traditions, and that you can fit in with them. In rhetorical terms, what you're doing is building up your ethos, the reputation and character that you demonstrate within this group. What you're trying to do here is fit in with the group as quickly and as seamlessly as possible. And there's several ways to do this. First, I want you to figure out what their basic points of etiquette are. Contact the person who's coordinating the next meeting. This is usually, you know, like an executive assistant for one of the board members or possibly someone who coordinates the association altogether. And ask them about the kind of etiquette that people follow. What sort of business attire is expected within this group? What kind of language do they use? Do they speak very formally? Are they informal? Is there any swearing or is cussing strictly verboten? All of those sorts of behaviors that tend to crop up at the meetings. Observing the group's points of etiquette, like clothes, who sits where, etc., is a very easy and often overlooked shortcut to endearing yourself to a potentially unfriendly group of people. Make an effort to behave according to the group's norms and meet their expectations about who you are and what you should do. There will be time as you develop a good relationship with them to differentiate your ideas and contributions later. But at this stage of the game, it really is more about strategically fitting in. As you said, this is an insular group. So showing that you understand their norms and values and that you can go along with them is going to be very important for them. I also recommend doing some intelligence gathering about the people who are currently sitting on the board. How long has each one of them served on the board? What are their positions or jobs within the community itself? How long have they been part of this profession or this community? Are any of them particularly influential within this particular group, within the board of directors, or within the larger community? That might be someone that you need to show a bit of extra deference to. What major challenges or issues are these people facing in their day-to-day -day work, as well as with matters related to the committee and the board of directors that you're all sitting on? These are all questions that, again, that person who's organizing the meeting will very likely be able to answer for you. You can also learn this information through sources such as past meeting minutes and general community news or gossip. The point here is to learn as much as you can about their context and worldview so that you can refer to it and ask well-informed questions every now and then. This lets you demonstrate that you took the time to understand and care about the board's context and history. For many organizations, as well as people who spend a lot of time serving on boards or in other volunteer positions, demonstrating this understanding and care is going to be really important for endearing yourself to them. Finally, at the meeting itself, be sure to ask more questions than you answer. Listen more than you speak. I know it's a cliche, but it's very true. You want to demonstrate that you have a greater interest in hearing other people's ideas than you have in sharing your own. 
People tend to like others who show an interest in them and who give them the chance to talk about themselves and their thoughts and ideas. I mean, really, we are all the center of our own universe. So when someone else shows a very noted interest in where we're at, in what we are thinking, we tend to like them more. And this is a strategy that you can use to fit in more quickly with the group. So ask people who are there about their history with the group, within this community, their opinions on current issues affecting the community, and so on. Demonstrate genuine interest in these people. Don't wait for them to ask about who you are. Instead, take the initiative and ask the other board members questions about themselves first. This will help you give off the impression that you're friendly, open, and interested in learning about the people around you. This, in turn, will make you more likable to them and help you give a better first impression. And remember, Alan, if you're ever in doubt about a point of etiquette, a way of doing something, a fact or a figure relevant to the community that you really don't want to get wrong, don't be afraid to ask. You might find that this very insular board of directors will be keen to show you how things are around there and welcome you more readily than you expected. That's it for this question, Alan. Now go and make some friends with this board. I have faith in you, and I'm sure that you will fit in in no time. And now it's time for a question for you, my very own community. Have you ever had to make a good first impression on a group of people that intimidated you? If so, how did you manage to do it? How did you manage to get comfortable and endear yourself to them? Let me know in the comments down below. And please be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell to make sure that you get my future updates. Every subscription matters and it really does encourage me to make more videos. So please join in the fun and subscribe. And as always, make sure to visit laurensergi.com and sign up in the pop-up to receive loads of great resources and updates on all things public speaking and communication from yours truly. That's it for today's edition of Communication Q&A. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Mm -hmm.